Hi friends, I have been asked several times about how I do banana bread in my bread machine. So I'm gonna get my little assembly line going here and I'm hoping to make six or eight loaves by the end of the day today. Now, you can certainly make banana bread in your oven. I just like the bread machines. The same reason why I, like, I enjoy my slow cookers is that I can get things set and then I can be busy for several hours as far as a slow cooker goes or for about an hour and a half or so as far as the bread machines go and come back to it later. It doesn't need my immediate attention anytime soon after I get it going and I appreciate that because I get very busy in the in-between time. And if I had my banana bread in the oven and I needed to come back 20 or 30 minutes later, I'd probably change a diaper or be doing something else and burn it or who knows. I, I have a history of that. Okay, honey, love you. Um, so anyway, that's why I appreciate with the bread machine recipe that I'm gonna use. I can use it on a quick bread setting. And it does end up taking about an hour, 15, hour, 30 minutes. I get two loaves going at a time. And so by bedtime tonight, I should have six or eight nice loaves that are completely done. And then we'll have one for breakfast tomorrow. I'll stick the rest in the freezer. And then we'll have them for quick breakfast and quick lunches as we need them. So showing you what I've got. I've got a bunch of bananas that, oh, they're just, they're mushy and they're ready to go I have some eggs I have my baking powder milk oil uh, all-purpose flour now last time I did banana bread I did it with whole wheat flour I'm just out and this is what I have so I'm all about using what you have I also have a little bit of brown sugar and then some regular old pure white sugar and it is in my old coffee container but I'm sure there's a lot of alternative sweeteners that you can use in your banana bread use whatever works for you this is just what i'm doing for us today so with my bread machines this is my bread man bread machine that i got on sale on amazon and this is my other bread machine that i got at the thrift store for i think it was 2.99 and i'll pop up a card here for you on that and that's the brand that it is and it works great too so first thing i'm going to do is just get both of these bread machines sprayed out let's see here so just gonna whoop, take my spray, give them a good spray on the inside. And if you're new to using a bread machine like I was, the way that the compartments work is there's this little pan. This little pan comes out and there's a little dough hook. And that's what you take out when your bread is done. So now for the quick bread setting, I'm just gonna layer my ingredients in here. So I'm gonna start with putting in one cup of milk in each bread machine. And then it's a fourth of a cup of oil in each bread machine. Mushy, mushy, good mushing. Here, let mommy take a turn real quick, okay? Mushing. We have a mix of some overripe bananas in here and then some bananas that we're not overripe yet, but what I do is I stick them in the microwave for about a minute or two. Mommy, I'm yes? Gonna... I'm so sorry. You take over mushing. Mush, mush, mush. You're a good mixer. So just to help those bananas get nice and ripe, I'll just stick them in the microwave on a plate. Good job. That's good. Mashy, mashy. Mashy, mashy. Yeah, let me help you just a one more minute here. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Mashy, mashy, mashy. And now you can mash those while I put this in the microwave for a minute, okay? So what Amelia and I have done is we actually got the mixer out and we've been using the mixer on the bananas just since it was so many to really get them all broken up well. Right, Amelia? So for a large loaf of banana bread, again, in a perfect world, we would use two cups of bananas per loaf. However, I'm a little short on bananas to do the eight loaves that I'd like to have done by the end of the day. So I'm gonna use one cup of bananas per loaf. It'll still be wonderful, it'll still be banana bread, but it's totally okay to scooch how many cups you use based on what you have on hand. So I'm going to take a cup of bananas now put it in each machine another cup of bananas put it in this machine
Next, I'm gonna put in four eggs into each bread machine. So it's nice when Aldi has those 59 cent a dozen eggs because they're great for making these breads. I'm gonna do a cup of sugar in each bread machine. So there's one, and then here is two. Now I don't always add brown sugar, but I have brown sugar on hand, so I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup of brown sugar for each of these loaves too. So there's brown sugar, plop one. I have approximately three cups of white all-purpose flour that I'm pouring in. When I use whole wheat flour, I just, I use the same amount. So I put each of those in each bread machine. And then here's our other three cups into this bread machine. Next, we need two tablespoons of baking powder in each bread machine. There's one, two, and already I forget what I said. I don't know if I said teaspoons or tablespoons. It's teaspoons, very important. Two teaspoons of baking powder in each bread machine. Don't do tablespoons. that there is nothing else to add I'm just gonna shut these lids and get them going now another thing that I do is the flour can stick to the sides a little bit so after it mixes for a minute or two I just take a rubber rubber spatula and go around the edges and then I can leave it alone for the rest of its baking time and I lied I forgot each bread machine also needs a teaspoon of salt Okay, now we are ready to hit hit go. So it probably takes me um, about 10 minutes to get two loaves going. But again, then I don't have to mess with them for a while. And I'm gonna get these started now. So for my bread man, I just shut the lid. I hear you, Amelia. And then I put it on number six. I see, you got the doggy box, I see. So I put it on six for the quick bread. And then I just hit start, and it's going to start whirling around in there. And then here's my thrift store find. For my thrift store find, it makes a little louder beep. And I don't have a book for this, but I just use it in the same way. I put it on the express bake 80 minutes. Loud beeping. Okay, and then I hit start. And it'll start whirling too. And Miss Amelia has a box on the floor behind me, so that's the extra racket. So real quick, the, it's mixing around, but you can see the dough around the side, so I'm just going to scrape it off, and then it'll all mix well. So both bread machines are going now. What I'm gonna do is lightly clean up my mess, but still leave my dry goods out. These both have about an hour and a half at that hour and a half time, we'll stick a fork in them. I'll see if they need a few more minutes. If they do, we'll put them in for about 10 more minutes. I'll show you what setting I use for that. And I'm just gonna leave everything else ready to go again with two more loaves later. Here's a check. Here's a quick check-in on how the mixing is going. So you can see all that dough now is nicely mixed in. So I am all hot and sweaty because I've been outside actually running up a hill with the kids. This banana bread has beeped. Um, we're going to be gone for a little bit now, going on a nice walk. I'm going to set this banana bread back on for about 10 more minutes because it's not quite done. So on this bread machine, there's a bake-only setting, and I can put it on that. Oops. Go back around the horn here, and then hit start, and it'll just bake it for 10 more minutes. Sometimes it has to go 10 more minutes. Sometimes it has to go 20. So we'll just see how it goes today. So guys, you can tell we got caught in the rain on our walk, so we are running in real quick and we are gonna have some banana bread now because we have two loaves hot and fresh. So here's what it looks like out of the bread machine. I'm gonna slice this up and we're gonna have it with some hot butter on it. It's gonna be a great snack 
and I'm gonna get more in the bread machine. Hopefully I can have six or eight loaves done by the end of the day.